Hey guys, we're going to take a look at two items today. We're going to review two items because they pair well together. This is the Micus or Micus Home RTX long range Bluetooth music transmitter or receiver, as well as the Creative Z Sound or Xi Sound D3X Bluetooth wireless speaker, which I'll show you in another room. Uh, both of these units. Uh, Go for $54.49 and $111.05 um, on Amazon.com as of the making of this video, that is. They may be cheaper now or they may be more expensive now. You'll have to take a look. But uh, let's take a look here at the unit itself, which I have in an audio cabinet here. And there is the unit there. This is the receiver part of it. It has the ability to transmit or receive. So you could hook this to a stereo amplifier and send your Bluetooth signal to it, such as your iPhone or Android phone, and it will play music through your stereo. In my case, I'm using it as a transmitter. So I have it connected to a Dell computer, and I've outputted the audio to this unit from the, the speaker output, and I wanted to transmit this music across the room to another TV that this computer is linked to. So first, really the setup is simple. I mean, it just you hit the power button to turn it on, and once you have the two units paired together, uh, turning it on and off is all you have left. You'll have to check your manual because it's been a while. I've had this unit almost a year now, and it has worked flawlessly within that time period. So I'm going to show you just how far away the receiver or speaker is from this unit so we're going to do that now and we're going to walk across a very large conference room and then we're going to turn left into a smaller conference room so you've seen just how far i've walked here is the z sound unit i think this unit would be excellent for connecting to a turntable if you just need a speaker for your turntable. Granted that your turntable has a preamp built in, this does not have a preamp, but you can hook uh, your, uh, well you can link your Android device or your iPhone device, iPad, iPod, to this unit Bluetooth, uh, with its Bluetooth capability and play your music through it directly. So what I wanted to do is uh, just show you the controls real quick. Here's the, mi uh, the minus and plus, which is your volume. And then you have your uh, link button and your connect button. And you'll have to check your manual for that to, to see what those do. But one of, one of them helps you pair from the transmitter that we saw earlier on the back of the unit. And I have a stapler here just to kind of show you the size of this unit. It's small yet, you know, large enough to create quite a bit of music. And there's your auxiliary in port to say uh, hook a turntable or an old cassette Walkman up to it with your port for bass and your AC adapter input. So let's go ahead and play something from my channel on here so that you can hear a little bit of music and yet uh, hopefully I don't make the copyright holders angry for playing something like this. Here it goes. So that gives you a little bit of taste of uh, the audio fidelity of this unit. It has really good sound and again it would be great for connecting your Bluetooth device or a turntable up to it and playing it through there. Uh, it's a great size for a bedroom or a dorm, but I think it's loud enough that you could even use it as a TV speaker, maybe a sound bar for your TV. But the fun part is that it is Bluetooth and you can sync things wirelessly with it, such as the other uh, adapter that we saw in the other room. So there you have it. That's really all I have for you on this review. I recommend both of these products and I recommend them together if you want to, say, have your iPod in your room and you want to send sound to another room, it's great for that uh, particular purpose. Thanks for watching.